Senator from Utah is recognized. Mr. President, from Utah's Red Rock Canyons to our Alpine Meadows, from the sprawling salt flats to the towering mountain peaks, it's hard to overstate the beauty of Utah's majestic landscapes. So much about being a Utah is our connection to and care for our land. These values have been ingrained in our culture since the pioneers found refuge here in 1847. We take great pride in the fact that folks from all over the country and all over the world traveled to our state to experience these rich and diverse landscapes. Utah has nearly the highest percentage of its land owned by the federal government, nearly two thirds of our 52 million acres. And of that federal land, more than 23 million acres is managed by the Bureau of Land Management. This land has been cared for and used by Utahns for generations. Recreationists and sportsmen who take advantage of the access to hike, hunt, mountain bike, ATV, and camp, the rich ranchers who graze their livestock to provide our food and fiber, the communities that rely on the oil and gas development in the basin or the coal mines, and power plants that provide more than 70% of our electricity, individuals interested in exploring the cultural anthropology of our land, and simply the residents that look to our open spaces for solitude. Utahns deserve and demand that our public lands be managed by someone they could trust. And it's quite obvious that the president's nominee for director of the Bureau of Land Management, Tracy Stone Manning, is not worthy of our trust. Ms. Stone Manning's history of aiding eco-terrorism is extremely troubling and alone should be disqualifying for the position to which she's been nominated. It'd be like nominating Bertie Madoff to serve as Treasury Secretary. For those who aren't familiar with tree spiking, an action with which Ms. Stone Manning has been associated, let me offer a brief, brief synopsis. Tree spiking involves hammering a metal or ceramic rod into a tree trunk. Loggers could be seriously harmed or even killed when they cut into the trunk of a tree that has been spiked. And the same goes for sawmill operators who are, better, who are uh, processing the log in the mill. Eco-terrorists who engage in tree spiking are willing to cause the gruesome injury or death of hardworking Americans who are simply trying to provide for their families. But it's not only her efforts assisting eco-terrorists that's of concern, Ms. Stone's Manning's blatant dishonesty about being investigated over a tree spiking incident to the Senate, that should disqualify her from serving as BLM director. I take my constitutional duty to provide advice and consent with regard to presidential nominees very seriously, as we do all do. And with limited exception, I believe presidents, regardless of party, should be able to put in place qualified individuals to lead their team. I've supported several of President Biden's nominees, even though I've disagreed with them on particular policy issues, because I believe they were basically qualified for the position to which they've been nominated. Simply put, however, Tracy Stone Manning's past involvement in eco-terrorism and her attempt to conceal that participation before the Senate make her unfit to serve as director of the Bureau of Land Management. I will be opposing her nomination and urge my Democratic friends, especially those who represent states with large amounts of federal land, to oppose her nomination as well.